Hello everyone, welcome to Ath Shastra classes. In this video, I am going to present an answer to the assignment question of subject Economics of Growth and Development, code is MEC 004. So this is the assignment and in this video, we are going to present this answer of question number 1 that is examine the effect of population growth in the solo model of economic growth. Second part, discuss how the solo model could be used to explain poverty traps in developing nations. I am going to present a snapshot of my own assignment which I submitted when I was in first year. So these were my marks in the assignment that is 89. I scored 89 in the assignment. So I request you to kindly see how I have written the answer explaining everything in detail and I expect you guys to follow the same if you want to score good marks as I did. So let's start with the video. So we have started the assignment by writing down the question and followed by the answer. So in first answer we have provided a brief overview of the solo model what it attempts to explain. Next we move to assumptions the various assumptions in the solo model which are made. So we write down the assumptions. So there are many assumptions in this mo model and we need to mention all of them. Now we are going to explain what the basic solo model explains. So as we know in an economy there are two sides the production side and the consumption side. So first we are explaining the production side giving the various important identities which we derive using various notations. Then we move to the consumption side of the model and again using various notations we will derive some important equations and using the equilibrium condition we will derive the equilibrium condition of the solo model so that is i equals to s a function into f of k now we are incorporating depreciation in the model and we are showing it diagrammatically using the diagram so in diagram we have production function investment and the depreciation the steady state level of capital per worker and what happens if it deviates from the steady state so we have mentioned that also in the diagram moving forward we move to the explanation what figure is trying to show next we incorporate the population growth as the question demands so now we will see how we an economy can achieve steady state growth when the population is growing so we have derived the new equation incorporating the effect of population and we have made again a new diagram and now investment has changed to break even investment because it now includes depreciation as well as population growth explaining the mechanism of figure in words and we derive the condition for the steady state now we are going to see the effects of population growth and uh, we see when population increases so the steady state capital stock per worker decreases and now we are seeing how we can determine the golden rule of capital when there is population growth in the economy so we derive the condition as mpk minus depreciation equals to the population growth and the second part of the answer is poverty traps so we are defining the traps the technological trap it is related to solo model only so this question is not only important from your assignment point of view and it's a very favorite questions of the examiner when it comes to your term and examination so this is a 20 marker question and you will expect a question from solo model either in 20 marks or of 20 12 marks in the paper so prepare well this is not your just assignment completion it will help you in preparation for your exams as well so the next question will be there in the second part of the video. Stay tuned. Thank you.